Okay, this next step is going, hello from down here. This next step is going to be filming, putting in the drive shaft. And we're going to start by bolting the drive flange on the end of the transmission. If you can see my hand over here, we're going to be bolting in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this white seal. And you just jiggle it up and down a little bit. And then you pull it out with your hands. And then hand it with your trusted driver to build your trainer. And then you're going to take your channel locks. And then you're going to grab this rubber. And you're basically going to pull. And you're going to get it out a little bit. And then you're going to peel it around the sides like that. We've already removed this one, but basically just showing you how you do it. You peel it around. Sometimes it's a little stiff. You want, just don't want to leave any rubber on the inside. And once it's free, then you take your dry flange, make it up through, and you place it over the end until you get the splines to engage. And then you give it a firm push until you hear it engage like that. Don't be afraid to give it a firm push. And then you take your bolt with your washer on it, as always, with the Lawson 916 spacing out. And you put red Loctite on it. Low goes a long way, as always. And this bolt we're going to put in, and it's going to hold the drive flange down in the center. So we're going to put that down and start to screw it in. And then we're going to take our trusty ratchet trusty ratchet here with our three-quarter inch socket we're going to get this nice and snug and then we'll take out our torque wrench and with the torque wrench we're going to put 75 foot-pounds of torque on it Mike, if you could prep the torque wrench, great, here it is, here you go, put the three quarter inch socket on it, I'm almost ready for it there, okay Mike, and of course, the reason why we prep this now. Now, how do we keep it from spinning the uh, drive flange? What we can do is uh, we can have the builder trainer hold the hold the flange. We can put one of the, um, the bolts in the flange. Take a pry breaker bar, a pry bar. Okay, the bolt. Bolt, sir. What we're do here is we're just going to put one bolt in to hold it while we're putting 55 foot pounds of torque on the center. Here you go, Mike. So take the breaker bar and the three-quarter inch socket. Here you go. Maybe this so you can put that on the end of the bolt and hold it. Okay. So either put a socket or a uh, pry bar or breaker bar underneath this. And then what we're going to do is the uh, your builder trainer will pass you your drive shaft. And we're going to use these bold colored bolts to bolt the drive shaft up underneath. Okay. And the nice thing about having the drive shaft loop installed first is that you can actually use the loop 
you want to put the double carden end, which is the thicker end of the drive shaft, up through the loop. And then you're going to want to snake it up. Use the plunge to be able to do this. Yep, you want to stick one on there. And then while I'm holding it in place, he's putting a couple of the bolts in the back end. Couple of the 12 point Ford drive shaft bolts in the back end. And he's just using a hand, a socket in his hand to just tighten them in a little bit. And then on the other end, you all in there? Okay. And then I'm just going to extend the drive shaft a little bit using the plunger. And bend the face down a little bit to get it parallel. And then there are only four holes on this drive shaft plate. And so, spin that there. Basically, I'm getting those four holes lined up. And then we'll need the red Loctite. Red Loctite. One bolt. And then from the bottom here, I'm holding up the drive shaft. While the builder trainer is putting red Loctite. Threaded. Right there. I'll push it all the way through and just back off the uh, Okay. If you need to, you could push the drive shaft back into its plunge a little bit and just see the bolt. As you can see, I just slid the drive shaft flange back from the uh, drive flange and uh, basically you can see the bolt exposed and that might make it slightly easier for you to see which, where you're putting it in the hole. And I'm just down here assisting, pushing up the U joint, moving it around to make it clear. Pretty good. Okay. Like it's at an angle? Yeah, it's coming in from an angle from, from the top down. Okay, Mike, that one from the top is still needing a little help. So there he's using the extension and the 12 point, or pardon me, the uh, yeah, I think that one's cross threading socket. Is that starting? Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's cross threaded. Cause it's cross thread. There you go. Oh, I think he's got it fixed. Yeah, he's fixed it. All set. Can I spin it now? Oh, that's good. Spinning. Spinning the drive shaft around just to get the other two holes ready to go.